Howdy peeps, I know this looks a bit different from my usual setup and I think this video drops first before my next few so I think it's best to stay here real quick and I'm just trying something new that will help me make videos faster but it won't replace any of my usual videos with me hanging out in the bear cave on the couch. So that's really it but I just wanted to clear up that confusion. So yeah, onward right? That's what we're here for. I've been highly anticipating this movie ever since I saw the first trailer for it. Just the theme, the characters, and the music choice for the first trailer gave me the vibes of, oh yeah, this is going to be my type of movie. And when it comes to most things, I'm not a hard guy to please. As long as the protagonist has a likable personality, and there's aspects of the story, and hopefully the music that meet my likings, then you can count me in as a happy camper. Okay, wreck Ralph is like one of my all-time favorite Disney movies, right? And yeah, there's things in it that I could definitely nitpick about. But through it all, I still found something to love about the movie. But that's wreck Ralph, and this video's about Onward, so yeah, let's get on to that. I made it to the movies a bit late, but I still made it to see the opening segment that was shown off in previous trailers, so I already knew what I was getting myself into. The world was full of magic at one point, until technology came along and pretty much phased it out of existence. Which is pretty crazy considering what you're capable of doing when both of them coexist. If this was one of those movie sin moments, I probably wouldn't count it as a sin towards the movie itself, but maybe towards this common societal viewpoint that has shaped the stories and worlds of many different media. I don't know, It's it's regardless, it's nothing new. It's not a new concept. But it helps set up this fantastical story and magical adventures that our co-protagonists and brothers, Barley and Ian, are about to get mixed up into to save the world. Okay, maybe it's not that serious. I mean, the boys just want to see their dead dad again. I think that's something that a lot of people can get behind, right? You could tell this was going to be a movie with some type of discourse between the two brothers and eventually lead into some feelsy moments, which actually brings me to a good point to talk about, the characters. Ian is a younger, nervous wreck of a brother who has clear traits of their nerdy, introverted character type, which isn't really something bad as it's just who he is, but naturally the social awkwardness is something that of course gets in the way of even simple things like inviting friends over to a party or standing up to the troll kid who won't move his slimy feet off the back of his chair. But none of that is as problematic as his self-doubt and lack of confidence that leads him to struggling to speak from his heart's fire. But most importantly, a lack of faith in his older brother. Why, what is this heart's fire, you ask, fair listener? Tis a phrase of vital understanding that the film will bestow upon your wax for air holes come of sooneth. But in the meantime, let's talk about the brave adventurer of a brother. Barley is pretty much the lovable orb of the movie. He's pretty much similar to Wrecker Ralph, whereas he tries to do good deeds and means well, but when he messes up, oh boy, you can bet that people sure don't seem to let him forget or take all the possibility away of thinking that he can redeem himself. Because, I mean, come on, you make one mistake and surely that must be it, right? <laughs> Reminds me a lot of cancel culture. <laughs> oh, I'm just joshing. Barley is a character that is super into all things magic and D&D, but I don't remember him ever having ever mentioned any friends that he might have, so who does he play with? Nah, the magic stuff is more important anyways than having friends, but in a world where magic is no longer really relevant, you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place if you ask me. But hey, nothing like having that brotherly bond and that venturing, right? I mean, surely nothing could go wrong there. When I was young, I used to watch a lot of Goofy Movie, and this movie gave me a lot of similar vibes throughout the film. The two characters that are essentially on a road trip, and due to having conflicting personality differences, it ends up causing them to clash a lot. Barley tries to play the support of Big Brother in the best way he knows how, and sometimes it can come off as a bit too... Overbearing for Ian to just mentally handle it all, especially due to an already apparent lack of trust in Barley due to past screw-ups. But it's a bit ironic because, yes, while Barley does show that he's very much capable of making mistakes, there's a part of the movie that Ian blames Barley for making a big mistake, and when you look back on it, that mistake wouldn't have actually happened if Ian just worked with Barley to fix the problem. It's actually something that, if I remember correctly, that I don't think it really gets resolved in a way that has Ian outright apologize for what he said or really realize exactly where he, for just that one thing itself, he screwed up on. I don't want to keep pulling Rekka Ralph up, but this is a good time to draw a comparison there for how all the problems could have been resolved with Felix 
as the good guy, work with the nice landers to realize that Ralph isn't a bad guy at all and he's just doing what he was programmed to do. Because one, it's not like they didn't steal his home away and just shove him off into the dump. And secondly, after all that happened, at the end of the game, Felix just fixes everybody's house. So it's never like anything is really lost. When Ralph confronted Felix in prison, that should have been the moment that he didn't try to empathize with Felix's detainment and relate it back to what he feels every day. I mean, okay, it got Felix to come to his senses to understand how Ralph felt wronged, but Ralph being scripted to take the fault of all that's happened from trying to be something that he's not programmed to, just it just still rubs me the wrong way after all these years. Yes, taking responsibility for actions is good, but not using that one-on-one -on -one to show Felix how this could have all been avoided if he had just helped the situation early on, then the nice landers would have been, well, nice to Ralph. And thus, it would have never happened. Like, he would have never left the game. Uh, I mean, sure, the movie did end off good in Ralph's favor. But I felt like that would have been an important interaction for growth and Felix. Because he did change by the end of the movie, I'll give him that much. But... I think the reason why just wasn't as strong as it could have been. But enough about Wrecker Ralph. <laughs> Gosh, I need to stay on the main point. And that is Onward, a magical movie that's well worth your time. To me, I'd have to say that the movie, while nothing too different, I still think it was a fun two hours watching it that i most likely going to do again. And again and again when I finally get to grab the movie for home. Like I said earlier, it's definitely my type of movie from the themes and characters and music. So I say it's worth it, but if you've already seen it, then why don't you tell me what you thought about it below? The movie releases tomorrow? Today? Depends upon when this video comes out? So if you didn't catch the early screening, then make sure to head on out to see the movie this week. And then come back to the video to share what you thought about the movie. But before you magically take off to the movies... Why don't you share what you thought about today's video below and don't forget to leave a like and smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss out on anything Bear Boy. I'll catch you around in the next video. Laters.